One thing I just want to recover is just make sure that in sites and client portal, just here, you've got your dashboard set up correctly. Just here, this client portal URL will change um, once you've set your domain up. Um, it will be the one, the one that is relevant, the the, the subdomain that you have created. Um, in here, you can invite people to your portal. Remember, the portal is going to be blank. Um, but uh, the great thing is, is we've got there's more things coming out within the portal, um, such as being able to send and receive documents between each other. So that's going to be um, added on as well. You can send login information to someone. You can generate magic links. Um, and send them directly to a contact so they can sign up to the portal. In settings here, I've already been through this with some of the other things, but make sure your domain setup is correct. Again, this domain will cover your portal, your um, courses and your community. Um, and then branding, make sure that's set up. And then down here, the last one is app permissions just here. So enable child apps for your client portal. So choose what they can see within there. Um, so I want to make sure they can see uh, those, but com affiliates isn't important to me. So choose the specific applications you'd like to feature in your client portal users. These non-selected apps will remain hidden even if a user has, has access to them. And this is overall just there. Um, and then your landing page um, just there, which is your home communities or courses where you want them to go. If you are focusing on courses, then you probably want your home page to be the courses. If you're focusing on communities, you want the home page to be the communities. Um, but if you've got a mixture of the two, um, probably be home. If you are putting courses into communities, it's most likely going to be communities and make sure you save that. So that's how you go about setting up communities and courses within the CRM system.